You remember? I predicted an evil woman, an evil empress in Hive causing trouble a couple years ago. And she's been popping up in my BTS readings and K-pop readings for a while now. She's come out. Hive versus the door. <laughs> Let's look into this. Hello everybody, hi, it's me, D Sparta. Welcome to my channel. How are y'all doing today? Oh, my hair is a mess. I didn't even do my makeup today, but I've been wanting to get videos done. And I just, I don't know, I just felt, didn't want to put energy into that and put more energy into here doing these videos. Because, wow. Adore and Hype are at it. Now, we do know how the big, there was a big hit. They became Hype, and then other branches and other agencies start coming up under them, okay? And um, a couple years ago when I started doing some BTS readings, this, like, evil empress, this evil woman, this, you know, she'd show up in the Lenderman deck as a, um, a serpent, um, a conniving fox, um, and there was, I keep hearing that there was a woman in V's ear, and I kept thinking she was trying to cause some problems. It's almost like she wanted BTS to fail. And when everything came out with Hybe asking Min Hee Jin, the CEO of Adore, the founder of New Jeans, to step down, news went, Phew! and I went, oh, is this my girl? <laughs> she, I thought it was really sus how she had been the one whom, you know, V went to to produce his album. I mean, his album's nice and all. Ah, oh, let me see. My hair is bright and crazy. Ah, oh, there. I feel better now. <laughs> Sorry. But <laughs> she, I, I, it bothered me. And I was concerned about New Jeans. I had a lot of concerns. Because they're really good. But there is a lot, there was a lot of concerns about how young these girls were. And the CEO, you know, and Min Hee Jin. Min, she was basically, she kept saying, calling them her children. She felt like a mother. And I get that, you know, like, you know, Petey Bang, you know, he is like a father figure to the guys in BTS. And I think she kind of wanted, she was in Source Music and was coming over to start, and she has a beef because she feels that Les Seraphim, I have a hard time pronouncing their name. Was debuting before New Jeans, and she thought New Jeans was going to be first. She adore and some shares and adore Hybe, and then there's people she's accusing others of copying her. And I will tell you right here, right now, she ain't not copying. Others are not copying her. She is copying the '90s. Okay, the look. The styling, all of that is so very much back to what was in the 90s. And not just in K-pop 90s, but over here in America and Western music. You know, the styles, there's just a lot. She's taking credit for thinking that this is an original concept. And she's getting really bad at illicit. But my understanding is, like... What New Jeans songs when they're dancing out on the field? It's just like twice when they, with their song, when they were, there's so many, you know, it's like, well, they, twice came out before them, you know? So, it's looking pretty bad. Um, 
Now, Minhee Jin, she uh, did some press conference. And she looked, she looked very shabby, very unprofessional. It was very, and my understanding, especially, I mean, not even you know, even if this if this person, you know, I understand the culture there. It's like you know, you're supposed to present yourself with some kind of respect and dignity. And she doesn't. It's just, and when you don't. When you're trying to come to somebody and reveal, hey, this is what I'm going through. I'm going through all this stuff. She just dresses like she doesn't care. And I will tell you here, over in the Western world, too, what do we see? You don't care. You you just, mm, it hasn't come very trustworthy. You can't, it's harder to trust somebody who, yeah, it's just... Is trying to act like something is really serious, but isn't willing to present themselves in, the, in a serious manner. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to do a reading. Everyone, I have been on Discord, y'all messaging me there, and I'm on my Discord server. And if you are uh, if joined this channel, the memberships, or if you are part of my Patreon, you get in access to my Discord server you get to drop ideas at me, and sometimes, you know, I, I try and be active there, and I'll post little articles or give, when I learn something new about, you know, whether it's true crime, pop culture, K-pop, you know, supernatural, paranormal, conspiracy, you know, you name it. I have, there's different channels in the server, and I do try and keep up with different things there, so... Yeah, and you do have access, and trust me, and then a lot of you, I've been commenting in the videos, DMs, I've been seeing it, so here you are, here is the magical reading of Hybe versus Adore, we're gonna get into this, I'm telling you, getting back into this woman's energy, if it's the same energy, I'm pretty, I'm feeling it, it is, it's, mm, um, it's like already, uh, yeah, let's, we'll get into it. Hmm, here we are. Okay, everybody. Let's see here. I am using my Disney Villains Tarot deck for this reading. I was going through my decks this morning. I have a lot. <laughs> and a lot of Oracle decks that I use it's more for personal use, which I could probably do for, per and I use for personal reading if you do book me. <laughs> but yeah, um, this deck, when I was going through it, I was pulled right to it for this reading. So, let's see here. Um, okay. Judgment. <laughs> Queen of Hearts. Oh, with your hand! Okay, okay. Uh-huh. It's like Judgment Day is here, huh? There's a lot of, okay, a bunch of stuff just popped out here. Wow. The Hierophant. This is like organized company, you know, this is bureaucracy. This is also the hierarchy, you know, the church. And such, and but in this case, it's more like the whole business judgment and the five of cups. You know, five is always argument of conflicts. Usually, and we got the five uh, with the cups. This is a lot of disappointment, feeling underappreciated, feeling lost, and it's a lot of self pity, abandonment. So basically. She is coming out. She feels that she can judge everybody in the industry. Um, because she's been feeling like she's not getting the right attention. You know, she um, kind of wanted to position herself because she was going to be the, she wanted to be the first girl group Hybe has done. Now, which honestly, th there's been a group waiting in the past that they tried and they they couldn't ha they didn't manage the girl group well okay um there was a lot of you know they did not protect the girls properly in my opinion especially when some uh, 
rumors of someone being a bully in school towards others and just, you know, a lot of not protecting them from, you know, these kind of attacks and not trusting the girls enough. I mean, so, but she kind of wanted to position herself and new jeans like where BTS is. That's where she wanted to be. And it's not been that long. It You know, BTS, they were not an overnight success. Because they were getting held back a lot. And they changed and grew and became something so huge. Worldwide, they are loved and missed. Okay, and here is the Wheel of Fortune Reverse, the Knight of Swords, <laughs> and the Four of Coins. This is, no, this is, this is, this is, yeah, okay. Everything's backfiring on her, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune here is like, you are influenced too much by... Everything on the outside, she's bad luck. She's not. She wanted this whole thing of control, but she, she's it spiraled out. The Knight of Swords is reckless, recklessness, uh, just impulsive, um, she, just making action and being impulsive, and just going to defend. She is trying to defend herself. She's going to keep trying. Because here we got the Four of Pentacles, okay? And here it comes where she is trying to, she wants to be able, she's trying to possess and hold on to money and greed. And she, so she does, she, her being asked to resign is really was offensive to her. It offended her. Um, so she has, it's like, I am going to start spewing my opinions, but the stuff she's, it's not like she's revealing any dirt, you know, she's trying to accuse people of copying and holding her back. Okay. The King of Pentacles here is reversed and I'm going to tell you right now, this is all about greed. Um, but does she embezzle? I, okay, I haven't paid too much attention to her. I just know a basic timeline. I know who she is. But she embezzled something? This is... This is standing out to me like that. Maybe she was caught. Doing, you know... She did something shady. Cups. Ooh, and then we have seven of coins returned. Okay, now decisions, decisions being made, trying to partnership, trying to find reconciliation, trying to. She wants to stay connected to the new genes. She I think she kind of wants to pull them away with her. Get them to side with her. It's kind of like we have this family connection, you know, and the seven of coins. So there's so much greed. This person is just evilly greedy and this is, she feels like, as I was saying, New Jeans is not up to a point where she had expected and wanted this. She wanted their success to be pushed so far up. Um, she, she has a thing against BTS. I mean, it's, it is, I am like, ha. Uh, she is like, yeah. Okay, the Page of Cups and Split. Once again, youth, recklessness, but 
this is emotions. Um, she is very insecure. Okay. Very insecure. And this insecurity is causing her to be with a, an imaginary, you know, enemy. Hive and BTS are really not her enemy. She doesn't see it that way. Okay, so this is a virtue. I um, mean, this is true love. This is the lovers. And this is the breaking up. She, I, I keep saying, like, she's trying, wanted to try and cling to be, to hype and new, new jeans, but it's, it's broken up. She really wants to bring the girls with her. She, oh yeah. And right here, what we find out about her, she feels everyone has been abusing their power against her. They feel like, she feels like Bong PD and the CEO of Hybe right now and others are, oh, she doesn't like the new CEO of Hybe right now. Ooh, she doesn't like him. I forget his name. Heart. Uh, tired. I need more coffee. I haven't even finished my coffee here. <sighs> mm -hmm. But that's what she she's been doing this behind the scenes. I think she's also been leaking information. You kind of wondered, where did the staff get things that they could leak about, you know, the travel of BTS, that, um, shit. It's almost like she could, she could access that information and was purposely leaking it. Getting paid on the outside to spread things. Um, she is, she is not someone to trust. Um... And here's her card. It just popped up. And we saw the cards flipping. She is the high priestess, the liar. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. And here's the six of cups. There's with the six of cups. Oops, did I? There was another cup of card. Oh, the eight of wands. A bunch of stuff that flew out here. Um. I just see there's some people very happy that she's looking bad. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, there is, there is, they, it's like, they feel like they, by pulling, she's like, it was like a weed that they just plucked out. It's like, yay, healing can begin. We can restore some, these divisions. We can. There was a lot of concerns I think some people have with new genes and the young, young members there. And yeah, the eight of wands is, yeah, this is, it's almost like ding dong, which is dead, dee 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 dee, you know. <laughs> but so they're, they're like, okay, we got to move fast. Now they got to get rid of her. They ha they're got, they're, they are scrambling high over in hype. Um, with the door to what to do next. Um, yeah. Hoo -hoo -hoo. So, yeah. I find it interesting that the Evil Empress reverse card popped up. If you were in my Discord server, you would have... You'd been part of... You'd seen the conversation where someone brought it up. Hey, remember, you know, she was the... Um, High Priestess reversed, and boom, there she was. I was like, yeah, okay, definitely, definitely, definitely. Who I've been thinking now. I'm pulling at the Letterman deck because I kind of want to get a feel with, you know, what's going to happen next, you know, see if, or learn anything more. She wanted BTS to be sent 
to be enlisted. She wanted them gone. It was almost like she felt they were stealing, not just the other, you know, there's less, there was the other girl group there, but of all the other bands groups, she just fixing it on BTS. It was like, they're stealing my limelight. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I mean, she really believes they're stealing her limelight. And we all, I mean, that's, that's just so stupid. <sighs> but yeah, this is all about gossip. This is ooh, bad interviews. Um, damn, 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 damn. Then you got 35. And 35, this is, you see, this, she felt like her movements were being limited. Mm-hmm. We saw this card pop up. Mm, yeah, she's, this is like, this is the death nail in her career, okay? This is the ending. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, it's the coffin. Um, I don't think she's going to be able to, yeah. Because she is marked as this fox, the fox, who I brought up before that she, in, she was coming up as a fox. Or a serpent. And this is the deck where she would pop up as the fox. And here she is again. <laughs> Um, a trickster, and it has to do with work. It's very untrustworthy. Um, but very clever, very clever. And the one they think they are, that it's, uh, it's, it's something don't fall for, don't. Yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> Any other card going to pop out of this? Okay. 20, the fairy and the statue, this, see, this, this, this is just pointing back to, she is going, she, this is just keep, she's going to keep blasting out on social media, trying to get attention. She wants to just get all the attention. She wants to be the center of attention. This is her focus. And she's going to use social media. She's going to use um, the people that she has networked with in the industry. She's going to try and manipulate things with them. People are going to be afraid of what she's going to be posting and sharing. Yeah. Yep. She is making bad decisions, very bad decisions. She's being too hasty. And she has done this to herself, folks. So, um, yeah, it looks like as the cards pulled up, it's the same person that I was seeing. And I think it's good that she's gone. I hope she gets silenced fast and we don't have to deal with her anymore. I just think she's going to keep trying to poke up, though. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, thank you so much for being you know, watching this video. Thank you for those who have been supporting me from back then when I first started predicting about this woman. Here she is. I love you all. And to remember, subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I love you, and I will see you around.